Hello, everyone. Welcome to... Oh, God damn it! wrong podcast. Oh... <laughs> 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 uh, New Year, same chili. <laughs> my po- my brain was like uh, the PlayStation Unchained. No, right, no. right. Yeah, I'm looking at the Thursday. Moogle Go Round screen, and I, I, I'm in the Moogle Go Round Discord, and I'm looking at the Moogle Go Round Twitch. PlayStation Unchained. <laughs> oh, I just made your name extremely small. We're back. We're, we're, we're back. Ah, uh, first. First podcast of 2024. <laughs> uh, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> great start Ta- already. Talon's like so many the podcasts that the man forgot which one he's on. The only one I, I never forget it. is sound bites because then I have to have snacks in front of me, so that's easy to remind me. <laughs> so you know, if I, I, I don't, don't have, have snacks, snacks in front of, in front of me, so therefore I know it's not sound bites. <laughs> uh, so, and. Um, how are you doing, Paul? Uh, I, I've been up and down. I've been very up and down this month. I have been in and out of hospital, the tests and x-rays and shit. So today was a blood test and an x-ray. So oh, no, I, got a, I got a hard week next week. But luckily we're not doing the podcast next week. So I get to just rest and chill. So uh, um, but other than that, I'm doing pretty good. I did... Uh, I did a stream on my personal channel of Lethal Company a moment ago today uh, and played with Mioni and stuff. And that, was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I also streamed Wednesday, me doing a uh, new rank season in League. So I'm trying to do a lot of content and do a lot of stuff. I've also been working on my first video for MGR, which uh, new development has happened where I'm going to have to talk to Mioni to grab a certain uh, document or a uh, an interview that I need to find. So, yeah, it's been good. H- how have you been doing? Uh, not bad, thank you. Uh, I've just been streaming a lot and work stuff. So um, I'm excited for the uh, demo for Grand Blue Fantasy, which drops in 50 minutes. So I'm, I'm excited for that. Um, don't expect that tonight, by the way. I know I said it drops in 50 minutes, but with my internet speed, no, we'll, we'll play it tomorrow. <laughs> play it tomorrow. Well, we- that is still technically tomorrow, but you know what I mean? The normal time tomorrow, which <laughs> by the time this no, goes live, will be the past. So, um, so yeah, expect a lot of Grand Blue Fantasy content in February from me because I'm excited for that game. Um, apart from I mean, that, expect yeah. a lot from you next uh, next month. Yeah. Oh. Is, it ne- is it next month? It's, it is next month the Final Fantasy Rebirth comes out, right? Final Fantasy yeah, Seven? but March, yeah. technically. March. Okay, March, technically, okay. Because it's February 29th it comes out, so... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, so... So, May, uh, literally, when it comes to March, Chili's going to have the entirety of every stream day. Because well, like he's going to be fucking day. playing it. But, yes. We'll, we'll be going for a rebirth. <laughs> well, we'll see. Like, they, they said they're very inspired by Witcher, and I'm one of the few people in the world that really dislike the Witcher, so... We'll see. Yeah, because of the open world, like, yeah. of it. And I just found the like a lot. Everyone's like, "Oh my god!" All the side quests have like lore. I'm like, I I played side quests to level up and gear up. I don't need every <laughs> one to be emotional and story based. Some sometimes they're just there to be side quests and not story. So we'll, we'll see. I, I'm hoping that every Fantasy Seven side quest is massive and forever. Some are just go kill a thing, and then you go kill a thing, and then you're like, yeah, yeah, I did the kill. And then you get the quest XP. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. We will see. Um, but no, I'm still excited for re- um, for Rebirth. I know a lot of people already started playing the Grand Blue Fantasy demo by changing their region to, you know, somewhere that's past midnight. But I am waiting because I, I, I don't think, know I think how they it... mainly change it. They mainly change it to Australia, don't they? Yeah. Australia. Australia um, or JP, because they're usually quite uh, in the future. Yeah. Well, it's understandable. I can't yeah. wait to watch tomorrow, because I, I do want to see how... Because it is on my wish list on Steam. Yeah, nice. So I might, I may like, watch your stream, see how it is, and I might pick it up myself, uh, let it come later down the line. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, do you like yeah. anime... Um, do you like anime uh, Monster Hunter? Because that's basically what it is. Oh, okay. I, I, I've been playing Monster Hunter recently. 
Yeah. Uh, have enjoyed it a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, maybe. I like anime. If that counts, I like anime. So. Yeah. <laughs> so. And they've already announced, like, they've got uh, D- DLC planned for the future, which is cool. Like, they've nice. announced their roadmap. So. Um, I'm I'm excited. But you know what's more exciting? Well, not really. But you know what is also exciting? Fantasy 14. <laughs> I guess it is more exciting. Um, uh, I mean, I can tell you something that's less exciting. Hats? Uh, that too. But um, okay. I will be playing Final Fantasy 15 on uh, the MGR channel at some point, because I now have Ooh. that, the Windows edition. Yeah. So I really want to play that through. But right now, I have no space on my fucking pc to download any more games T- time so, to di- delete more stuff yeah so the games i i have currently like installed uh, i might be getting rid of uh and these are some big games by the way so like one of them is like wow uh one of them call of duty uh monster hunter uh by the way saints row the new one not actually that bad could have been worse but I want to complete that. Apparently, the story only takes 14 hours, and I've been playing it for about five, so I'm like almost there. So I want to complete that and then start other games. But I also want to play Starfield as well because I've been want, like been wanting to play Starfield for a while. So I'm 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 thinking about just for streaming purposes, deleting games <laughs> like WoW because I'm not playing WoW right now. I may like download it when then the, the next WoW patch comes in. But I don't know when that is. And then obviously got Final Fantasy. Got the Final Fantasy patch. So I don't know how much time. And I want to slowly do Final Fantasy 15 and actually feel the lore. Because I feel like when I first played it, I rushed it. Do you know what I mean? So. Uh, looks like there's a WoW patch coming next week, maybe. Is it next week, the new WoW patch? Wait. Mm. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly because I don't know WoW, but. Uh. uh... Oh shit! Yeah, fucking this as well. January sixteenth, like, uh, roadmap. Is that when delves or is the delves coming in? No worries, Talon. Uh, yes, it. Yeah, Talon's like, yes, it is next week. Uh, Fuck, maybe I, don't, maybe I, don't I know won't it, be deleting that just yet. I I don't know what it includes, but yeah. Uh, Dragon Owl, Isles epilogue. Uh, recon of Galnaris. Dragon. Oh, so yeah, dragon riding worldwide. Follower Dungeons, Erosian Archives, and Outland Cup, and Hearthstone Anniversary, apparently. Oh. Thanks for that. Yeah. You know, you could find by tuning into a certain show. Yeah, if you listen to Well Nightcap, you could find out. <laughs> plug. Not plug, plug, but plug. Go check out Well plug, Nightcap. Plug, it's a really good podcast. Uh, now, if I jump into Well, it's probably going to be the Dark Heart. It's probably when I'm going to jump back in. The Dark maybe. Heart? Which is like spring. Like I'm looking okay, at the roadmap, yeah. okay. 2024 roadmap. Oh, okay, yeah, the time running pandemonium. Yeah. Oh no, I don't care about any yeah. of that. I'm just like so I can get used to the control. So then I'm ready for the pre patch more than anything. Like. Oh, uh, what the I, walk I, the war within campaign? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could probably see myself playing that. Depending on when this comes out, the war yeah. within, and depending on when Final Fantasy dawn trail comes out yeah that's my issue with it like i want to give it a try because you know i gave shadowlands a Mm. try and everyone hated that i I was going to give dragonfly a try but you know i was too busy with it and you know and and walker and i'm like okay dawn trail is this new star maybe i'll also try the war within give it a new chance another chance but if it comes out at the same time as dawn trail now yeah, yeah, yeah. Dawn Trail, <laughs> Dawn Trail gets like first dibs. Yeah, uh, yeah. like it, it looks good again. World of Warcraft. I, I, I play it. I'm playing it. I play it uh, quite a lot. I were I raided last night. I've like I've beaten the raid, so it's like it's not much for me to do. Uh, you know, I just I raid with a few peeps and chill with that. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to delves of WoW because it, do you know uh, in ESO they had delves. Where it was like yeah. a story dungeon type thing, yeah, I I love the shit out of that. That's why I love ESO. ESO is probably one of my top MMOs. Like it's it's over wow. Oh wow! Like I have, I have Final Fantasy, uh, Swole Tour, ESO, 
And then, wow. <laughs> I still find it funny that I own the clip edition of Swotor because I bought it when it first came out. You know, the original... Uh, yeah, the original... It... Uh... Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that probably goes for quite a lot now, to be fair, if it's still, like, packaged. Yeah. You probably it's sell it for It's mostly packaged, except for the statue. I think the statue's broken, which sucks. Oh, um, rip. Yeah. But, yeah, so I... <sighs> I don't know if I will play because I haven't bought War Within yet. I haven't pre-ordered it. I'm yeah. probably going to play it because most of my friends play WoW. So like, but like none of them play Final Fantasy, other than like you know obviously Chili Chili plays it and like the rest of them. But nobody they have tried Final Fantasy, but they don't like how anime it is. If you get if, if you get my drift, yeah, that's what they've said. Like it's really like really like too anime for them, and obviously they're from playing wow where wow is very heavily medieval fantasy based type of thing so you know they uh they can't really get into it which is understandable and obviously we, everyone says this and i've heard this excuse so many times where at the beginning of the game it's fucking slow as hell which it is it is slow and that might Don't get me wrong. change it might it might hmm? that, that might change so, okay Go on. Uh, <laughs> because there's been so Yoshi P has been doing some interviews recently, um, you know, on the Japanese server. Like he's yeah. just been logging in, answering questions and stuff, even without, you know. Um and he mentions the fact that like he didn't like the fact that we're reaching level one hundred as for Dawn Trail. He actually okay. disliked it. Um so and he, he they 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 hope to change the leveling process in the future after Dawn Trail. So I'm gonna guess that whatever's after Dawn Trail, we might see a um a, a, a new level squish, which means if we get a level Ooh. squish, some of the low level stuff will be like some of the higher level stuff will probably be accessible low level. I'm hoping. Like I'm hoping they just push like cook, like make a delicious sandwich of levels, like just squish <laughs> everything down delicious. like it's a suitcase. Like that that, that is the new le- a leveling suitcase. <laughs> that, that is the title. <laughs> A leveling sandwich. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> right. The, the... Yeah, I, I can see like what. So like, say if they put it like put it back down to like sixty. Yeah. Or like, how so? Because yeah, I put it down to sixty. Like, like how Wow did it? Because Wow put it down to like sixty, yeah. and yeah. then went up, and then they would have like a realm reborn takes you up to like oh, like level twenty or level thirty, and then yeah. do ten levels for expansion or again that would be still quite high up into like possibly the 80s first thing if roman born gets you up to 30 heavens would get you up to 40 yeah. then stormblood gets you up to 50 yeah shadow bringers brings you up to 60 60 you, they would and have then, to do every five and levels but every five it. levels would feel like or they just don't tidy levels with the expansion like just don't do that because like, yeah, otherwise true. you're still gonna be you're still gonna if it's every like because you've got to be level 30 for a round reborn because of, of the job system like it'd be a bit weird yeah um, yeah how would they do the job system then again yeah would they keep it at 30 or would they be like oh maybe yeah. we can knock it down to maybe 20 because obviously they'd have to do the whole reshuffling of new skills because you don't want to make it the yeah the bloat like you know you don't want the bloat because nobody loves yeah. the bloat that's why i can't wait till if there is a media tour or if there is talks about it what Abilities they're getting rid of because we've already seen like big cuts of I mean, abilities be a in media patches. Tour. There will be a media tour. It just I know. I'm. I'm honestly. I'm probably gonna ask Chili or even ask Mioni if I can use some of their footage. Because I know yeah. I, I won't get invited. One hundred percent. I will not be invited. One hundred percent will not be invited. Uh, but you know, maybe I can get like Mioni or like Chili to get me some footage of some stuff so I can do videos on them personally. Um, which would be really awesome. Um, but I would like to see what they what they're going to be bringing out to make it less, or what they're going to make new. So new ability yeah. comes in, this ability fucks off, or what abilities are now going to be passive and stuff like that. So I mean, we know they, for they've already they've done changed, it. They're changing Dragoon because I said yeah. that before it got announced by accident. Yeah, and you confused Mister Happy. Now Mister Happy's yeah. like, okay. It yeah, we had we great. had Mister Happy, and I'm like, is it? I'm like, is anyone excited for the Dragoon rework? And he, he was like, what? 
And then, like, what was what it? Dragoon Two days rework? afterwards, the Dragoon rework got announced. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, oops, sorry. I'm interested about also the Astrologian one. Yeah. I mean, that, 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 who knows? Like that? that gets changed every expansion at this that point. That is true. But I hope they found where it finds its like, identity and they've made it where it's playable for players and the way they can keep expand on it. Because that's why they they are changing Dragoon, because they can't expand on it anymore. No. They can't, because it's such a well-balanced job yeah, it's, and it's... flows really nicely. They can't add anything to it to make it more. So they get, so just be like, okay, you know what? Gone. Into the bin, we're going to make it new. Yeah, but the problem with that is, you just said the whole problem with that in that sentence. The job is good, so we're getting rid of yeah. it to make it bad, to, to try and make yeah. it good. Yeah. Why? Why, why, why would why? You, because why would why the, would because they can't add I know anything why, to it. But why? <laughs> I, I, let's make it. Let's just get rid of elusive jump. That, that could be the change. Let, just get rid of that. But that's that's the fun part of it. That's the one where you kill yourself most of the time. Yeah, but no, that's the one that you can greed in hits on bosses and then leap to safety. If your ping's bad, you're dead. If your ping's good and you get lucky, then you're good. <laughs> Uh, the, the problem is, but, most of the time, it's not. Most of the time, you're dead. It is true. Most of the time, you do die. But uh, when you live that one time, don't you feel the euphoria? You know, that big like, no. I live. No. Um, but then I'm also not a dragoon, so. Like, oh, I, I remember go. dragoon from 11 where people wouldn't invite dragoons, so. Like, yeah, I didn't play dragoon XP, right? because, yeah, n- yeah. How many times have I heard that from Chili? So, <laughs> that's how I get all my Final Fantasy XI yeah. knowledge from, and that's from Chili because yeah. I remember him talking yeah. about it. D- d- don't invite dragoons. Well, now you can because they changed it, but back in the day, you don't invite dragoons. It, you felt bad because they're all sat, like sad in the corner at the entrance of the zone with the little flags up trying to find a party. <laughs> please, please invite me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because you you ha- you put a uh, what's good looking for party flag up, and then people were you know making pies just do a search in search and then you know see all the different party flags, and you just see all the all of them sat at the entrance of the zone. Uh, this was after by the way this was after they added the zone tethers, so it, it, otherwise you wouldn't want to sit at the entrance of the zone because there's a huge chance you died anyway. Like you'd be sat there going, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, go, I might get a party in an hour, so I'm just gonna sit here for a bit, and then you go off AFK for a little bit and come back, you're dead because someone's run the enemy to zone and it's killed you. Do you know what I, uh, again, I wouldn't say I miss, but something that I'm interested in is the story of Dragoon. If they are going to change stuff and take stuff out, all the abilities you get from the quest, will they change, or will mm-hmm. they? take the story and then change the story that'd be interesting it's by the way this is the same if they do do a a level squish as well where all these yeah. quests we do get abilities from are they going to change to the newer abilities or are they going to change the quest you know what i mean <laughs> it's it's a an interesting dilemma that we have to think of yeah. And while we're speculating about this, they also want to do a new, and they want to a realm reborn again. So um, he also mentioned that well, as well. He w- a a remake of a realm reborn, I would be down for one. Because- their graphical update. Two, they've got the hardware and animations, the uplift to make it great. So I mean, not just that, but uh, 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 you know, to like make it a more lot appealing to said, new players. As you said, that if someone jumps in now. They've got 12 years of gameplay before they can get to Dawn Trail, basically. Yeah. Like, well, 10 years of gameplay before they get to Dawn Trail. So th- they can't just jump in and, and play with you. They have to, even if they bought a level skip, well, I would guess they could buy a story skip, but still, like, they still have all that content, you know, t- before they can actually play it with you at all. So I can understand why they might do it. Um, yeah, I, 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 I also see what they Instead of... Uh, Instead of a realm, and this is going to trigger so many people, and I'm sorry, but instead of doing that, I, I would rather they just like split the story off a little bit, um, and have it so that the new story doesn't need the old content to play. 
kind of like wow um maybe maybe when you make your character you can be like okay i want to do the new story and then it's like here is a recap and then you get to watch a recap and then you on the a, a, a little bit area, like eso a little bit like yeah. eso as well when you do a chapter you like oh you're just doing this chapter but you can go do other chapters yeah and 11 I as like well 11 well. kind of did it with like the mini expansions the shantoto mm. and all that lot they they had their own separate like it wasn't part of the main expansion it was a sep- they were called mini expansions um and you, they were I do understand separate. that does sound good like obviously coming from a player who has made many alts and have leveled many alts from one to max level i could see that being good because it could put you at obviously we we're, we're obviously going up to 100 so say yeah. it would put you at 90 on any yeah. job you start off but you can't play obviously any other new job no. Obviously, you, you, base yeah. jobs, what we have was in Robbery Born. You know, you get one of them with, you know, probably like dungeon level gear. Yeah. Or shit, even like script. Not, yeah, or even just currency gear. Because you, you get given currency gear. gear. Yeah, so you just get the current your... tone gear, you're level 90, and you start Dawn Trail. Yeah. But it, obviously, you'd have to purchase it and all that. You know. Yeah. But if it gave you an option, yeah, I, I, I'd be happy with that. If it gave you the option, say, Okay, I I want to go. I I just want to give it a try. I want to do the new stuff. Say if you're a streamer, you know, and you, you know, a lot of streamers come and play for the new stuff, you know, to get views and stuff. Maybe do yeah. like people, you know. I, I would see that, you know. And what is great is they already have a way to fix the issue with it, because boom, new game plus exists. So you start off That's in true. the new new storyline. And then just add an NPC in Old R or something like that that triggers New Game Plus. So that if you want to go back and do the original story, you can go back and do the original story. 100% would be down with that. That, that way you, yes. you can jump in with the new content right away and then also go back and experience the old content when you want. But they will not do that for two reasons. That would plummet the sales when it comes to story and um, job boost because that's I the mean, only reason people buy the boost would be to play with friends and get up to that thing if we gave them the option they would lose money in the mug station sales for that that is true but i so, wouldn't be surprised if they don't just if they did something like this they just gave everyone a, one job boost like you'd be like but they'll lose their money you're right but they, they're giving every spoilers female herofka got shown off they're giving everyone yes. a free fantasia mm-hmm. so like and that's definitely going to lose the money because imagine how many people would have bought Fantasias to be female Horofka. But it's not just for female Horofka as well. It's for the new graphical update that's coming because yeah. the graphical update might change how you like your you character. Like, yeah. So it gives you the chance to be like, okay, now I can change it and make it look kind of, you know, yeah. make it <laughs> look how I want it. And by the way, the graphical update, holy shit, it is looking good. Yeah, it is. It the, is the, looking the round faces good. and chins. No, but it's not just that. It's like the lips <laughs> under the eyes as yeah. well. What makes it and the new noses and stuff. I know. I know. I saw. I think it was like uh, Rose, who is a, a PNG tuber. Go check her out. She's great. Um, she was like, no, not my, not my nose. Like she like really likes the old Vieira nose or the, the current Vieira noses. You know, which do look a lot more bun. But this one looks like. Uh, your nose looks a lot darker, but a lot rounder now. But it looks a lot darker there now, which most rabbits, if, you know, or bunnies, you, you'd see. Yeah, most of them have like really, you know, dark noses, which was cool to see. Don't get me wrong. I think how like and obviously all the um, the lighting for different types of skin type look amazing. Look ten out yes, of ten. Yes, and I'm I can't happy that they apologised that the um, uh, uh, the POC uh, characters did have issues with the pre- the previous engine, and I'm happy that Yoshi P spent some time addressing the fact that that's one of the things they tried to improve for the graphical yeah. update. Ten out of ten, Yoshi P is just probably one of the best producers of our time. Stand out there for the people, by the people. <laughs> it's great. Uh, I'm I, I can't wait for the graphical update. Can't wait till it comes out. Can't wait to sit on stream just for like. Though. To, to people that are excited for it, remember that it will be coming out in waves. Yes. So not everything it will be um, updated at launch of the expansion. 
Like expect da- yeah, all the dawn. I'm expecting all the dawn trail stuff. Of course, will be the new graphics. But, but if you go back to older and then uh, talk to an NPC, there's a huge chance it probably won't have the graphical update. Unless it's one of the NPCs that was made with the character creation tool, in which case it'll be updated. <laughs> yeah, it will be updated. Like, yeah. honestly, because I'm, I'm going to be sitting there. One, I have three characters that I play regularly. One is being changed to uh, a friend, Hrothgar, which is my NA one. Uh, two, I have obviously my bunny boy that if shit does change, I'm going to have to change it around. Even though my bunny boy always, always, already, already looks good. so. And obviously got my bunny girl that I've got to also do. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of character creation moments. Definitely for me when it comes to Dawn Trail, like part one, because I want them to look good. So, but I, I do have the dilemma. Well, actually, no. The best thing, what they said, is that the savage content and raids are going to be coming a month after the launch of Dawn Trail, which I am so happy about. Is anyone else happy about that? So just me? What was that? Now, again? I, Sorry, I, just a double. What was it? So uh, about the um, the raid content is coming out a month after Dawn Trail launch. I think that's about right. Normally, isn't it? I, it's, I know it sounds long, but isn't it like it's about then normally? It's because... Usually, about two to three weeks. It's like two weeks. Normal comes out. Yeah, and then, then the, week the third that. week is Savage. Yeah, but this time it's a month until Normal comes out. I don't know if they're going to bring out Normal and Savage at the same time. They probably will. Okay, it's been a month. So that makes it fucking great for me because one, I have three ults that I raid with and I have to get up to level and and I can take my time with that. So one week I can do boob, second week I can do bunny, and the, the next one I can do mother bunny. You know? There we go. That gives me time, you know? Cause that's why I hated about this current expansion. Because yes, I was only raiding on two characters at the time. I also wanted to level with Chili and do the story with Chili, which that one was not raiding at all, by the way. Boob was not raiding at all. So Boob, well, is now raiding. But when I went back to them, they were still with the AF Reaper gear and only like Reaper leveled. So, <laughs> so yeah. Well, we'll see if we're so, raiding, hopefully. <laughs> but you never know with this group. We should be. I, I have taken this. I've, I've already told Wrath and I've told most of my raid teams other than my EU raid team that kind of raids at like a decent time uh, other than 1am that this month I will be taking off just because of health reasons because okay. I am in and out of hospital uh, with tests and stuff like that that I'm just going to make sure that my health is okay first and then because because I've been I've been going to sleep quite early like earlier for me um, like today what was it Yesterday I couldn't sleep properly, so I just I, I actually streamed and like made myself tired and then went to bed. Woke up, did all my fucking appointments, which by the way, getting poked and prodded by doctors, I don't like. But it was for the betterment of my health. And so I've been going to bed early. Uh my leg, by the way, my lymphedema leg is looking fabulous, by the way, because I've been sleeping and having my leg up, it, the liquids go down. I can actually wear a pair of jeans I haven't worn in years. Fuck yeah. But yeah. Just an update, you know, all that lovely stuff. But so, and then obviously, what I was, what I was talking about before I got my tangent on, um, I had two characters that I got out, and obviously the servers were bad. The server queues were fucking terrible. Hopefully, Dawn Trail with the cloud servers may make it a lot better, you know? We, we can only hope. <laughs> we can only hope. Can Which only I am. Hope. I'm hoping for it. <laughs> oh. so but I guess we should that, talk about yeah. FanFest stuff I know we teased a little bit there but right, big shout out to Gamer Escape for all the information that we're reading it from go check out GamerEscape.com um, wonderful people, wonderful podcast um, Fusion, Rookery, Aldrin all, all of them all, all incredibly good um, I know we should talk about the trailer but can I say I love Picto Monster and it's the best, and Pick I want to be it. Oh, Mansa! Yeah, if you saw our I'm... reactions on YouTube, we were we were quite looking. We were looking. Is that looking good? Yeah, I'm. I'm happy. I got it right. I'm. Ha- I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Chili I mean, got a lot, a lot of people things, guessed right? it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. What? Well, but when you've been playing the game for long enough, you kind of work what the, yeah in the end you start knowing what they want to do because that you can see the signs like everyone's like oh my Fine. god green mage i'm like it felt weird to me that they would tease green mage in the expansion before in the patch before they announced the first job and then also tease female horofka in the same sort of time period of cutscenes like you're not going to tease both things at the same time one of them's fake and yeah. clearly it was going to be green mage in my opinion so that that's that was my view on green mage like yeah the idea is cool but nah nah and crow cool, is but... still wearing the the earring so um, yeah obviously because it was obviously if you done yeah. the story it was yeah supposed to be for was it her father or yeah grandfather yeah so obviously she's gonna she's gonna wear that because it's gonna be in memory of him or whatever so and doesn't she look be... fucking adorable though? Yeah, she is. Yeah, I, I, she she is, adorable. She's... I wish she'd got a new outfit though. I will give it that. Uh, maybe, maybe in the story she'll get one. But she did. Well, it's I yeah, guess in a way, but not really. She, she... But again, it's an iconic bunny outfit for her, so I guess it makes sense. All right, cat. But yeah, yeah, cat. <laughs> she ain't no bunny. Ah. Oh. <laughs> But now she looks adorable and picked her monster as a DPS, a uh, magic range DPS with some um, support. So, and it looks a bit like Splatoon. Um, <laughs> so I'm excited. I can't wait. Yeah, it has are, are you... support elements, but not yeah. resing elements. So it's yeah. not that kind of support. Which is good. But that mm. does mean you're still going to bring a red mage in summoner. So no. it's going to be interesting. <laughs> no, it's not. Just... <laughs> It's going to be interesting to see how they are because they could be bullied out of their own expansion on day one because Black Mage exists. Because that is true, Black Mage. Does, but if Pixel Monster does, let's say, a couple of less DPS than Black Mage, but they have a movement, I would still take a Pixel Monster over a Black Mage because Black Mage, you kind of have to. In raid, you kind of have to play around them. You kind of have to put them in positions where they can get their DPS stuff off, and the party has to kind of put. This is coming from a person who has raided with two black mages this this tier, and we have done that. So, so yeah, I would probably take a Pictomancer. But I asked my raid team, by the way, anyone excited for a Pictomancer? Anyone going to play it? Dead silence. So I was like. Boom. Wow, really? Is this the first? <laughs> I, I, I bet like, they shit. all want edgy vipers. <laughs> no, that's the thing. They okay. didn't want viper either. Uh, the okay. only person that wanted viper was Ozma. Okay. Shout out to Ozma. You know, <laughs> Shout out to Ozma. <laughs> Vi viper looks cool as well. Like I like viper. I kind of like viper in a way. Like it's not my job, but I would. I yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to leveling it. Like, because I'll level them all. I, first, I'll... I think I said this on stream, or I said this in Mioni's chat, that what I saw of Viper, I felt it was not a job quest. It felt like a class quest. To the assign, I didn't see anything that took me like breathless or like, oh, okay, that looks really cool. It didn't really. I was like, kind of just reminds me of Ninja. With I'd an added ways... bonus, it can make it into a, 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 a what is it? A glaive? Do people yeah, say? Yeah, I don't know. The, the double-handed sword. Yeah. I, I'm hoping that some of the spells are like over the top. Like, uh, if anyone that doesn't know, uh, in Fantasy Nine, you play Zidane, and he has some. He he he, he does some spells that like look really pretty, but don't really do much. But I just hope that they do a lot, but they like make them like some of the spells that Zidane learns in. Fantasy yeah. nine, right? Like, like there's there's a bit where you're doing a play and technically you're not supposed to damage the enemy, so you're doing like zero damage versions of the spells, which I love. Um I'm trying to remember some of the abilities that Zidane has now. Because it's been a while since I played nine. And you know. Uh... And obviously a lot of people have like been saying to the naysayers who are like, Oh yeah, but you know, yeah, it's just because like Pictomancer has bright, colourful things, but 
well, yeah, but they're bringing like drawings and like paint into like into reality, into you know the game's reality, which is cool. <laughs> but they did show off, obviously, uh, the Kupo Cannon. I really hope that is spell. If it's not, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I, I hope it's called the Kupo Cannon. Um, but no. By the way, Zid- one of Zidane's abilities is called Solution Nine. Now, that's a foreshadowing, isn't it? Right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I I guess he only has those abilities during the play. Um, but he has like some like weird spells that like don't really do anything but look pretty. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm calling now that the Dane's weapon is going to be the Collector Edition uh, weapon. Yeah, the Collector Edition thing, yeah. Yeah. The, the A lot glamour. of people are really confused why they didn't show anything off Collector Edition-wise, but they, I, I think they just don't want to give away the a time slot type of thing. I still yeah, think they, they should have shown stuff off, the, off. Yeah, they should have shown off the Collector Edition. Yeah. yeah I was already putting money away so I could like, Explode, spend yeah, all please. of the money to buy it. <laughs> Because right. I'm going to guess it's like 200, 250 again. Why, well, yeah. I won't do that just because uh, I probably won't have the money in time. Two, probably when it goes on sale, I'm going to London to see uh, friends for my mm. birthday. Uh, just for my birthday, because um, uh, me and a mate of mine have closest birthdays. He's, like, he's on the 28th of May and mine's on the 29th of May. So we're, I'm going over to his and having like, um, like a barbecue. I'm going to like chill. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, just go just get chill with friends. Yeah, I, I've learned this year to not be inside a lot because my my mood has changed since I've gone out and seen my friends, and then I'm going out and see my friends more. That my mood has changed a lot. I'm not. I'm less depressing. That could be a thing. Uh, I'm more like kind of like a little bit upbeat, kind of like you know, yeah. It's it's nice to be out of the house. After obviously COVID and all that, and me not having real friends to go out and see, so this is, yeah, this year it has been in the right direction. Also, my mum has just messaged me. Uh, tell Chili that we got him a seagull hat. Oh, okay. Um, that has long legs, and if you click the legs, the wings flap. Well, that's a thing that I'm gonna <laughs> wear. <laughs> It's cute. It's cute. Trust me. It's really cute. I'm, I have it here. I'm it's scared, really cute. but sure. Cute. <laughs> but <laughs> so yeah, it's quite cool. But yeah, it's um. If you, oh, if also, you say so. obviously, obviously, it's, obviously, it's been cold. Have you been? Uh, have you been wearing the thing we got you? Oh yeah, I've been wearing it a lot. Wearing it too much. Good. I need to. I I need to take it to somewhere to get it washed because it's too big for my washing machine. Basically. Oh no. <laughs> so. So basically, I got chili. Um, we got chili, like basically a snuggie. That's yeah. what they called. It's like, you know, it's it's like it's like a poncho as well. So it's basically a poncho, but for indoors to keep yourself warm. But it's a it's a Dragon Ball Z one. So it's like really cool. I have gone yeah. out with it on, but not out like when I'm taking the <laughs> trash. I, I'm like, I can't be asked taking it off. Wait, well, yeah, that's I I wear my one. I also have a uh, yeah. I have a black one with Dragon Ball Z on it. So I, I wear that yeah. one as well. Currently, I'm just wearing a um a jacket currently because it's cold here, but it's not too cold to put it on. Oh. But sorry, I have to source sight on. By the way, big shout out to the fucking artist. By the way, who like day one got art out of Pictomancer of like their art and stuff and like their characters. Yeah. Fucking ten out of ten. You guys work quick. And female Harofka, like those were drawn yes. like instantly as well. It's like so good. Like, it's crazy. I guess we should talk a bit about Dawn Trail because we keep talking about Dawn Trail but not talking about Dawn Trail. So yeah, yeah. we're talking about Peter Monster. <laughs> That's true. Uh, and we talked a bit about female Rothgar, which, by the way, we'll get to see next week in game. Next week for the new patch two yeah, six point five five. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm excited to see all the different locations in Dawn Trail in person. They look. You've got Texas. <laughs> You've got the Enchanted Forest. Um, yeah, so I, I said, like, oh, yeah, that cool, the like, dark forest. you got the from Final Fantasy And Mioni was so confused. He was like, I don't remember that. And I'm like, you don't remember, the, like, the dark forest? 
of like enchantedness and he was like no i'm like oh i can't wait for that one because it looks so cool it looks so pretty and dark and dingy and why why like one bit of light one bit of light around that little camp thing on the picture i'm i I don't know i'm looking forward to solution nine i I like the cyberpunk aesthetic i want to know why there's a cyberpunk world somewhere in 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 our world How, how did it get here why is it there like is it elegant I'm guessing it's Allegans. I'm guessing it's Allegans. Obviously, um, I was a little bit hesitant the first when I saw it, but now I'm like, because obviously I love Cyberpunk. I love Cyberpunk 77. I fucking love Cyberpunk. So I really love the look of the place. I'm just, I want to know how it ties in with the story. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm like, you know, like, what's it going to bring? Like, <laughs> like, how do we get there? Where has it been all this time? Is it in like obviously if you if you guys have seen the the map out of uh, Erosia and stuff and you see like there where the bridge is there is a giant fucking crack like in like the yeah. world. It's, it's just there for some reason. Yeah, it's just there for some reason, and I'm like, okay, why is it there? Is that is is that where thing is? No, if you look on the map, there's also a giant globe like Sauron, so that could be this as well. That could be that. You are correct. There is the glowing eye of Sauron or whatever it is on the map as well. Um, the eye of Sauron. But no, they they they, they grew up. Watch it. They, they this this place had like really high electric aether, and that's why they were able to advance so fast. So it's interesting yeah, that to is see. Like, that is some that is some really good fucking lore about that as well. And obviously, we see like a bunch of like power grid places bits, like you know. Like even in the picture where it showed like this like small like town or like small village on one of like these giant walls, you can see like all these electrical posts scattered, like you know like phone lines and stuff. So I'm like, oh, that's pretty fucking cool. And obviously there's a there's a there's a merry go round which I wished it was Moogles and they would have been Moogle round and that would have been funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, they probably haven't even seen Moogles. Maybe who knows? Maybe. But obviously, yeah, obviously the train, that train does remind me a lot of the ghost train slash obviously the Final Fantasy VII train. Yeah. So that's that's really cool. I'm going to sneeze uh, and I feel it. I do hope it is something to do with Phantom Train. That would be so cool. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, that whole aesthetic reminds me of Seven because it looks like the, sl- like the plate above the slums. Um, yeah. Of um, Midgard, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I know some Final Fantasy VII stuff. Yeah. I, I haven't played it, but I've, uh, yeah. I know it. And we know that the raid is based on a GPU. I mean, the Arcadeon. <laughs> I saw the funniest fucking tweet about that, where someone uh, like drew, um, oh, what's his face? Um, but what's his face? Uh, uh, MX Elk saying that like, oh, oh, I left the. Uh, the what's it thing running? Oh, what is it called? The um, the Bitcoin thing running. <laughs> He's like, I've left the Bitcoin machine running. And it's just a picture of Arcadia. And I'm like, really? <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> so I thought that was quite funny. A- Asio coins. <laughs> the Asio coins. The man. And... Uh, but, uh, I know, know they I'm talked about how they to? want... Sorry, I know they talked about how they wanted to have the old Fantasy games in Gold Saucer. What if they somehow try and fit some of the old style stuff into Arcadion. Like, uh, I really hope they go into the whole name of it. I hope it's like, it's going to, people are going to, okay. I hope, I know this will sound weird, but I hope normal version has gimmicks and then they remove some of the gimmicks for Savage. Like, go wacky for normal. Like, mm-hmm. give us okay. a floor where now it's Pac Man for some reason. That would be cool. <laughs> cool. That'd be a like, game. like, and uh, uh, may- maybe we've got Ga- the Galigon. You know, the shooty game. The, yeah, the, the space shooty, like Galaxian or whatever it's called. Like, give us some weird gimmicks that, like, I don't want. I don't. I, don't, I wouldn't want it in Savage because I'm worried about the difficulty and having to. You know, it's the same reason why I I know people would like Trash to come back in Raid in a way. Because some people still like trash, but if if you add trash in the raid, 
I hope they only ever add that to normal because if you're doing savage, you I kind of just want to learn the fight. You don't want to pull trash beforehand. Like yeah, that so, is true. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Like, is it really entertaining when the fight is an hour long, but half an hour of it is pulling a load it's of trash. crap? Yeah, no, I don't like that. Like, add that to normal mode if you're going to add trash or anything like that. You never will, but like if they did, do it to normal. Um. Well, that's just me. Anyway, because I, 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 I would love that they just add some like arcade mini games into the raid somehow. Well, it is the so the game. But they sorry, they did say it's it's they have its own storyline for that original storyline. So I'm gonna be interested about that. So <laughs> I like it when it's original storylines and not just yeah. you know stuff they're bringing from like other games. Bloody happy but, about that. Ten out of ten. What were you gonna say? Sorry. Before I start uh, rambling. Before you, oh no, it was um the new Slice of Life content, the the Cosmic Exploration. Yes. Which uh, originally was set to announce at London Fan Fest, but we now have more information about the new large S- Slice of Life content being called Cosmic Exploration. The artwork depicts adventurers on the moon, but the content will in fact take players to other planets. Yoshida said uh, that if there was just one there wouldn't be a lot of variety, uh, variety in the sense. So this is where you'll be able to see your progression. I don't know what that means, truthfully. <laughs> I mean, they, they teased about going from planet to planet, right? So planet from planet, and like, what, like, what are we doing? Are we gonna like, are we going to uh, try? I mean, and from fix the picture, it, it looks like we're gonna... making bases. So maybe we're making homes, like, like small home depots, like type of things. Yeah. You know, like backup plans. <laughs> Which sounds cool. Again, it's going to be gatherer, crafter. I do like the little Lalafell holding the sandwich. It's like, eat, eat the sandwich, <laughs> Here, take, Aura! Take the sandwich. Take my sandwich! <laughs> you, take the sandwich! I, I like the uh, the little loft for it in the background, like daydreaming about yeah. planets. I think that's kind of cute. Would be funny if that's how many planets we get, though. Like, it, it, we, it's, oh, it's, four. It's, it's been there all along. <laughs> we get four planets. Cause... It's supposed to be able to... You can play it solo, but it's aimed to play with everyone. That's what he said, I think, in the live stream. He yeah. said he wants people to play it together. You can play it solo, but you want it you know, to play together, which I thought was... Yeah, okay, cool. Is it going to be like another um, Ishgard restoration type thing, where we're going to be restoring these planets with, you know, with uh, the help of everyone? Like, we're putting points up and, like, going to be like that and then we get like yeah. more rewards maybe could this be housing in different planets Probably are we going to be like going to like going to all the different planets that uh meteon has affected and r- helping fix some of the issues that have happened because of the song of despair maybe possibly but that'd be cool so i am interested about that because i do love me a bit of crafting and obviously we've got the uh, the crafting mentor Chili here with us today to like talk about it. You know, yeah, he was, um, yeah. You know, he's also a uh, saint of the firmament as well. Yeah. So, you know, we can really I'm see. Omni ninety crafter. Yeah. So, so how is this going to envelop the crafting and already the leveling? And what what do you think kind of rewards we're going to get from? Uh... Well, as a crafting <laughs> senpai and um, overround gathering master. Um, I feel like we're probably going to get some new actions of some kind. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, um, And maybe there'll be some sort of food that culinary can craft and then get pissed off because culinary items need like a a bajillion ingredients to make one thing. Can we... Was that just just a dig at how culinarian is fucking annoying to use or... Yeah. (laughs) Please change culinarians. They're the only ones that need like ten items to make one item. Yeah, and not like that's good. Though. They that's need what's ten supposed to be. items. Cooking. I don't don't care. Just like t- turn, make mixed bags. <laughs> be like, man, I I need I need this lettuce, this tomato, this cucumber, and so forth. <laughs> Rather than it being five ingredients, just be like. Oh sweet! I have a mixed salad. That that that'll work, <laughs> right? 
I think you're like the first crafter who I've known who does like cooking and like, like cooks rain food and stuff and really be like, I fucking hate why there's so much of this. Dumb it down. <laughs> Please. <laughs> like, it's the only one where it, it takes your entire inventory just to craft one item. Like, because it, it used to be bad for other uh, other jobs as well. The problem is, though, like, I wouldn't complain too much if it wasn't the fact that they changed all the other jobs. All the other jobs used to have problems as well, but they changed those. But c- c- culinary is the one they don't want to change. Like, I, I think it's because of the, like, uh, the rain food is probably like, the hardest thing to make. Because, because so the they kind of have to make it as a challenge. Yeah, that and realism. We can't forget about realism. <laughs> Uh, uh, but i'm hoping that this uh, they say it's new slice like slice of life content i hope this is going to be end game for crafters and gatherers not just making obviously crafted gear for uh for battle jobs and stuff because that's kind of the end game for crafting and gathering and like doing scripts and stuff scripts you don't really get much from scripts (laughs) because we're you can do all this stuff with scripts and get some script gear, or you can just make gear and then pentameld it and get more out of that. So I know we've got the end game weapons. Do you think we're going to see this more as end game for crafters and gatherers? Not just a leveling up thing, but an end game theme for crafters and gatherers. It'll be interesting to see. Ah, uh, yeah, same. Um, hopefully we get some more information about that soon obviously leading up to dawn trail we'll probably will get some more information about that so the next thing on the agenda is what chili has been looking forward to probably the most of dawn trail other than pictomancer and that is the 24 man raid yes which i am hyped for but i'm trying to not be hyped for because we've got like forever to actually get it so that is true like, I, I can't wait to play it, but I also remember the fact that, you know, we've got until what? Would you say October? I would say October for the first one? For the first one? Yeah. Yeah, I'll say, say October, November. Yeah, October, November is probably when we're going to be seeing... By the way, this is off not even knowing when... This is just a guess off the top of my head. Because let's just say it's June, July, August, September, October... Yeah, so around October, like, so, but no, yeah, I'm excited for, I'm happy that they've got the artwork for the Shadow Lord, they had to have the Shadow Lord, so it makes sense that he is, he is there, um, the Shadow Lord was the first ever major boss of Final Fantasy XI, part of the, uh, Rise of Zilla expansion, and even the base expansion, actually, the, he is the first boss, um, uh, which is funny, because if you've watched Mr. Happy's video, even though he was the first boss of the game, he's still relevant, like, now. Like, the, newer, the newest expansion they released has Shadow Lord lore. So, um, uh, I don't know what they're going to do as fights for him, because in reality, it was their f- Okay, Shadow Lord was the first major boss for them, so they didn't really have, like... You know, like in 14, where you got, like, bosses all the way up to like the final boss in like Endwalker and stuff like that. Like there, there's like mini yeah. bosses and story points. In, they kind of didn't really have that in 11 at the end of the first expansion because they didn't know A, it was their first online game. B, it was the first, they had no idea what to do. They had no blueprint. So it was all just like, go do these stories. And then, so I don't know what they're going to do as like mini bosses during the raid. Uh, the only one I can think of is maybe the, dragon from the level 25 burning circle notorious monster fight um so our buddy paul reference what a burning circle you, like, have you got the page the page open at all yeah i've got the page open you see what's behind him like the weird eyeball thing yeah the like pentagram looking thing yeah every big boss fight back in the day were in that circle in 11. oh that's cool it's called the burning circle notorious monster fight so, yeah, you you would get teleported to that arena. Well, you get teleported to like a little walkway and then you can use buffs and stuff like that before you actually pull the boss. Um, and then you pull the boss and you fight them in the arena. So, yeah. So, yeah, the Shadow Lord, I'm excited because it'd be interesting to see if they do some of his phases like in um, 
um, in his actual fight, he becomes immune, completely immune to physical damage. So you have to use magical damage. And then halfway through that, he then becomes completely immune to magical damage and you have to switch to physical damage. So, yeah. Um, hmm. And then they could just be complete dicks and add Dynamus Lord. Um, <laughs> uh, basically, the Dynamus was uh, the raid tier in basically the raid in 11. Um, hmm. In ele- in 11, Dynamus was... Um, it, it didn't get law until later, but the original was, law was the fact that... Um, Imagine it's a parallel world that goes on at the same time as the normal game's world. But instead of you existing, you didn't exist. So all the beast tribes, all the tribes actually conquered the main cities. So in the main cities are now the tribes that normally would live outside the cities. So Dynamis was you fighting through the, the cities trying to reclaim them. Um, hmm. So... But they're full of goblins and orcs and quadavs and stuff like that. Goblin orcs. Yeah, um, um, as we know, we get moblins. So there's that. Moblins. Um, moblins and the the Hanu the, Hanu. I think the Hanu right. Hanu. Yeah, and they're completely not Vanu Vanus. Ha- Hanus. No, it's the Hanu Hanus. <laughs> yeah, the Hanu Hanus. Um, the Hanu Hanus. <laughs> but no, the Diamond Lord, when he was down to like, I think it was like 30% health, would just spam Doomga, which was an insta kill. Doomga. Um, and you had Doomga. to have a Red Mage slash Dark Knight to chain stun it. And I will always be salty to that one Red Mage Dark Knight that I nearly cleared Forgot. it. And he refused to use it because he didn't want to use this chain spell. He's like, oh, I awesome. don't want to use it because I'm raiding later. <laughs> and then we all died and we we got kicked out. So I'm like, well, good for you. Thanks. Good for you. I remember Fuck you 20 you. years on. I don't remember your name, but I, rem- I remember you doing it. <laughs> I remember you. Chili always remembers. Yeah. You got... <laughs> Look, it's not... Imagine... Dynamis wasn't cheap. You all, all had to have food, pots, re-raise items, because um, you could get re-raise items crafted, and like that meant that if you died, you just came back to life on the spot. That's pretty um, cool. Yeah. But of course, with raiding, you kind of wanted to bring that with you just for emergencies. So you'd yeah. have your re-raise earrings. Um, and then the person that enters has to pay a million gil just to enter. Ooh. Yeah. Luckily, it's only one person has Mil. to pay and the currencies can be sold. So a lot of the times people would pay the million gil. They would have the leader of the raid group pay the million gil and then any currencies that drop will then go to the raid leader and then he can sell them to refund you know any future ones oh that's oh yeah that's pretty cool so i wish we had that now honestly i think that would have been yeah. cool you could also the, the the currency was also used for the relic weapon so that's why it sold so, oh yeah that's why it sold quick yeah yeah so like but like oh but yeah and then so you, you had, say oh, you're you know trying what? not to overhype yourself into it no because I, I, I don't know what they're gonna do we don't know we mm. just know that the shadow lord's involved like, will will they go? To, will it be, be expansion based? Because technically, that's like the first dish expansion. Will they go mm. Rise of Zilla? Will they go the base game, Rise of Zilla, Chains of Promathia as the three tiers? Which means I know some people probably want Treasures of Our Ugin, but I feel like we've already got too much of Treasures of Our Ugin when it comes to fights. Like, because the main story of that, if I'm rightly, is Odin. And Alexander. Well, we already have, like, Odin and Alexander as part of the, you know, main game already. So it'd be a bit weird if we have Odin and Alexander again. So, um, the original was Shadow Lord. The Rise of Zillet was, of course, as you can guess, the ancient race of people called the Zillets, which is basically Asian, proto Asians. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not proto Asians. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which would be, which would add, because I know technically at some point that we already have them, but we we would be able to get the archangels again, which would be cool. Um, I w- and then Chains from Mafia would be against the devil, basically. So uh, uh, proto zodiac. <laughs> like I would, lo- I would be interested to find out if they're like Atlanta is the main goal at the end of it, and it, it's just technically Hydalin again. That'd be cool. Like. They like imagine like they because it 
we all know that stuff goes over to this area, like story and law and people travel. Um, what if like Atlanta, which is Fancy Eleven's Dawn Goddess, is basically just hiding in there, but they they just made it up from what they've heard from people talking about Heidelin. Like they don't know about Heidelin exactly because they have no first hand experience. But from the whispers and folk tales of people that travel over to the, the new area, like to, you know, uh, they then built up their own version of Heidelin, which is their Atlanta, which will be Heidelin, but different. Heidelin, but different. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I think that'd be cool. Um, new, new Ultimate Raid as well. Um, we're skipping Shadow the Brain usual Raid. Ultimate Raid, normal Ultimate Raid, and going straight to Eden. Yeah. Uh, no Four Lords or anything. That's, uh, yeah. I know a lot of people were disappointed in that, but then again, a lot of people are excited for it because obviously it's uh, based around Rin and Gaia. So. I can't remember who said it on Twitter. I'm sorry about this, but. Um, that people because people were talking about how they're worried about the the how the you know because um dsr was very story based and then they're like they had they were worried about making story based stuff again in the future uh i mm. do hope that in some ways that this is story related because uh rin remember mentions that she's going to write a book after the oh, raid yeah. series so imagine if the ultimate raid is us reading through the book that'd be cool so yeah, the, the 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 raid the ultimate series will be based on her her retelling from the book. I probably won't do it because I'm scared to do ultimate raids. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not scared to do ultimate raids. That I don't have the time to do ultimate properly. Like sit there for like eleven hours a day trying to fucking do it. Yeah, like rampant pull, like like rampants, Ra- like rampants gonna rampant all roll over you. <laughs> I like like rampant. I'm probably gonna watch obviously world first week. I think that's gonna be great to watch. So I, I watched the last ones and stuff, and they were great. I think I watched, like, Arthas most of the time. So, you know, it's good. But there is something that everyone is quite interested about, and that is the new limited job coming in Dawn Trail. But this is during 7.x. Probably 0.4, yeah, I guess. Probably. But the new limited job for Dawn Trail will be Beastmaster. Who would have guessed that one? A lot of us. A lot of us guessed that. <laughs> I'm excited for Beastmaster, so... Well, it was either going to be Beastmaster or Puppet Master. And I feel like if Beastmaster is... is, is well, is a thing. Like, I feel like Puppet Master will be definitely more likely in 8.0. Like, I feel like they will probably just change... Like, I know that will sound mean, but they'll probably, like, just tweak Beastmaster to be Puppet Master in the future. Okay. Like, I feel like the Beastmaster will walk so Puppet Master can run. So... I, I do expect Puppet Master to still be a thing in the future. Um, I'm hoping that it uses one-handed axes because those are cool. Um, um, how, how how would you like Beastmaster to work? Uh, whip. I don't know. I don't know how Beastmaster... The only Beastmaster that I know is uh, in WoW where it commands beasts and you use a bow or a gun and you mainly command beasts and your beasts do like, all your damage. But in WoW's Beastmaster, they literally have, like, a lot of beasts can come out, and you can, you know... But it's not a limited job in WoW, it's it's an actual job. It's it's BM Hunter, which I've played a couple of times. It's, you know... Uh, but I know they said it's going to be a, a collection feature involved, so, like, collecting beasts and stuff. Um, basically Pokemon. Uh, yeah, basically you know, Pokemon. Got to catch them all. Uh, yeah. Maybe there's gonna be like pet battles, maybe like that type of thing. Maybe it's gonna be like that type of uh, thing. Maybe I mean, everyone or... wanted that with Vermilion, so it, it took them a while, but finally. <laughs> oh, imagine but if yeah, you, no, if you, you could it. use your minions. That'd be so interesting. <laughs> Go, Fancred. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely can't wait to see how. They're going to do it. Is it going to be the same level as Blue Mage? Is Blue Mage going to get any love? Uh, what kind well, of things? Well, I said that Blue Mage will get new spells, so. Hmm. And obviously, how is it going to work with Blue Mage? Obviously, you'll be able to do stuff with Blue Mage. Obviously, as Beastmaster, it's going to be Beastmaster and Blue Mages. Are they going to make a, their own little raid uh, for themselves? Or <laughs> like their own little raid series? That would be pretty cool. Would it not? Oh, that would be cool, yeah. 
a limited job uh, raise thing, I think would be pretty cool. I I reckon they should. I'd like to see a roulette for um. Well, that's the, they want to do that, but they've said the fact that they want they were waiting until they've added more jobs before because a roulette of one job is not a, a roulette. Yeah, obviously, so, I hope they like do it in like you know when they get new like limited jobs, yeah. they do like a roulette system. You know, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, I'd like to see more PvP roulette uh, yeah. and not just frontline. So you know, I'd like to see some uh, some more PvP roulettes would be kind of nice. But you know, I think because aren't they like trying to like remake? Rival wings. I don't know what they're doing at this point. They, I, 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 who knows? I know they redid Shatter, didn't they? Um, yeah. Because no, they got redone. Which, by the way, I know a lot of people don't like, but I kind of like. So, <laughs> um, I'm I'm interested to see. I just they, I just want more PvP love. Um, yeah, more PvP love. Um, obviously, we did get a poster. Fuck off yes. with the ad, bro. There you go. Sorry, I got an ad on the Gamer Escape ad uh, thing. Um, we obviously got a poster of Dawn Trail with a bunch yeah. of characters, which I'm a little upset about because no twins. Oh, no, no twins. Uh, yeah. But we do see, this is, the, this is why I think this is going to be the group you spend most of your time with in Dawn Trail. We have Kryl, obviously because Kryl's a new job. Yeah. We got Erdenbild. Ah, oh, funny boy. Uh, we've got obviously us. We've got Thancred and Ulianje. Yep. And whoever the fuck that is up there, the little goddess woman who looks really like. I feel like whoever like she is, she's green. probably she's probably the leader of Solution Nine. Probably. And obviously we've got um, the Amalgias and uh, the new woman, uh, the new her- female Haraska. We're going to see in the next patch. So. How we're going to divert now is that we're done with FanFest, we're going to divert to patch one, so, sorry, 6.55. Not fucking one, we're going to get back in time. Yeah, we're going back in time, but no, we are getting obviously new story. <gasps> new story, oh, shocker. <laughs> uh, so we're going to get obviously this is glowing light part two. We are getting new story to the Obviously, we defeated Zero Mass, all that stuff. We've done, we've done all that. Uh, we are going to meet this new uh, visitor who is, uh, what, the princess or some shit? I think so, yes. Because her like father is like the leader of where we're going. So we're going to meet her for the first time because she comes with uh, Unanville at the end. I keep saying his name wrong. <laughs> is it Arnville? I think it's Iron Veil. Uh, Iron Veil? Iron Veil. Iron Veil. All, all I know is that he's just hot bunny boy uh, with a great accent. But we do see her legs <laughs> yeah. in the end of last patch. So we actually going to see her fully in this patch. And obviously, we're going to see Kryle in her new painter Yay! attire. So I'm really hyped. Cool Obzie. necklace. Thank you, Wobbs. Thanks, Thank you, Wobbsy, for the raid. Remember, we do these live on Twitch. People who listen yeah. with a podcast on YouTube or on Spotify or on anything, we hey, do this live. So we just got raided by Wobzy, who we've had on the show a couple of times. Uh, yay, and not Alpha Node. So Chili owes us a Wendy's. Sweet. <laughs> oh, no, not a Wendy's. <laughs> so, and look, Crow's outfit has changed. She, he, she does have the. Um, yeah. The obviously the headwear and stuff, but it has yeah. changed to more of a painter attire. She's got jeans now. She's got those yeah. mom jeans on. She's got like a little pack and stuff for her paint. You know, she's got one yeah. glove on. Yeah, yeah, just one glove for some reason. <laughs> just one glove. <laughs> when these nuts hit you, oh, ah, <laughs> uh, love it. I like I, I like the little paint jars though. They're cute, like the red and blue. Yeah, they are quite cute. Yeah. I I I can't wait to see because I'm ge- I'm gonna guess there's gonna be like a encounter where we're gonna fight with the new the new cat of Horofka, and probably mm. Cryo will get involved in the fight somehow. It won't be a serious it probably won't be a serious fight, but like it'll be something. Right? It'll be something to like show off a little bit. That'll of be dance, like uh, not dancer, a little bit of pain. Oh, oh no! Some Mandagoras have got rowdy for some reason, and we <laughs> must <laughs> stop them. 
<laughs> Prior will destroy the enemies with the power of Apex. Wow. Yeah. But also, coming in the next patch is the new trial that uh, yeah. me and Chili got to play at London Fan Fest. I'm, I'm excited uh, to play it with people that I know and also without lag. <laughs> yes, that too, without lag. Is well, big... without more as much lag because there'll be some lag, but that lag was not fun. Now, sorry if I'm saying this wrong, but it's the, the Gilded Araya? Araya? I think so, that's it, yeah. Araya, Araya. So I did this fight uh, in FanFest, and it was quite fun. I didn't enjoy it. Other than the lag, it was very laggy. So, but it, it was cool. It was, it, was, right. it was fun. Is it going to be Gilgamesh in an outfit again? <laughs> no, nah, Gilgamesh had a sex change. It's all fine. This is the new Gilgamesh. This is hot Gilgamesh. Hot, hot, hot mesh. <laughs> yeah, this is hot mesh. <laughs> uh. He has come from a land down under to be what a What does fox. Randy in this context mean? I don't want to see Mandagoras getting freak of each other or anyone for that matter. I don't mean that. I just mean... <laughs> like... <laughs> that is not what I mean by Rowdy Mandagoras. Oh, uh, that's fucking great. <laughs> that's great. They are not, they are not horny plants. Also... Like some people probably want to see that. Also, in the next patch, which I'm looking forward to probably the most, is the next Taru's Grand Endeavors. I'm bad. I haven't done any of them, so I'm going to have to do all I of them. I have done all of them, and they are great, so I can't wait to see which uh, what ones this one's going to be. In some ways, I'm happy because now I can just spend the, between now and the expansion getting them done in like one slump and yeah, yeah. getting okay. the rewards. Um, and obviously, we have some more Hildebrand. Yeah. Because obviously, with more Hildebrand comes more Relic Quest. <laughs> now we got some more in 6.4, Wobsy. I think we've had them in every patch. I think so. But we are getting, obviously, Mandeville weapons, where we're getting the... This is the last upgrade. Yeah. So this is where they're probably going to make it or break it to possibly being the worst Relic weapon it already is. Ever made. It uh, already is. <laughs> it's already is. It already is the worst. It already is. Yeah, I, by the way, checked in. Yes, we did oh, get Tartaru. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I completely forgot. What? A most crucial thing about all the entirety of FanFest, which was the best thing that Chile has ever wanted in the life. New Field operation coming out in Dawn oh, Trail. Yeah. yeah. I am excited for Eureka 3.0, hopefully. Not Boja 2.0. I want Eureka 3.0. How like, could I forget? <laughs> oh, I didn't. I, I just, again, we don't know anything about it, so I can't get too hyped until we know all the details. I know, but we didn't actually say anything about it, so I thought, oh, fuck, we forgot about it. So there we go. Uh, New field operation go. coming, which I might actually do. Because Yay! one, I've never done Eureka. Two, I've never really did Bodger. Uh, and three, yeah, yeah. I'm As what you said, they are just tome weapons now. They are just to tome. They are weapon. just tome weapons. Tomes. Yeah. Would you like some tomes with that? Hey, can you just go go, go get some tomes? Oh yeah, did you just get some tomes. Some delicious for us? toast weapons. Okay. <laughs> oh, and we also Which, got the uh, tribal yeah. alliance quest as well. Yes, um, new tribe. New tribe. Well, not new tribe, but all the uh, if you've done if you got all of them to Blood Swan, which I finished today, um, I have you'll be able to yet. do you'll be able to do the tribe quest with all all of them together. So, and we'll get a reward, well, which I'm interested to see what it is. I hope it's I'm hope it's really cool. cool. What do we want? Do you want an animation a mount? Like, 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 like what we're feeling? I, okay, mount is cooler in my opinion. But okay. I think I would prefer an animation because as much as a mount is cooler than an animation, an animation can be done in all content. Mounts are still that limited to specific content. So the mount will That's be cooler true. in a way, but the animation would be more usable. So I, I, I'm going to go with animation just because of that. What about you? Yeah. Um, I would actually like an outfit. Oh, that would be that'd be good too. 
I would actually like uh, that uh, the elephant dude's armor. Honestly, that'd be pretty cool. What if they like make a mixture of like having the armor on like a lot on a lopret that's also part robot? That'd be cool. <laughs> and like, it's a mouth. Like a... Oh my god! <laughs> no, but no, like you get that. Like uh, I expect an outfit. We usually get one, didn't we? End of expansion. Yeah, but we we're talking about the the uh, allied. Quest, Wobsy. We didn't get an allied quest last time. They said, oh, they, they wouldn't make sense, even though clearly the allied quest would make sense, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, but, you um, know, uh, yes, Tyro uh, has taxidermed wanted... the Lollafit. Leave yeah, my Lollafits alone, boy. Like, the Shadowbringers, um, wasn't the Pixies? I'm trying to remember what the Shadowbringers allied trust quests uh, uh, allied tra- were again now. Uh, the Dwarves? The Dwarves. The pixies, uh, the, the pixies, the, the rat and those, yeah, the the, the rat people. Quir- the quirin, <laughs> the quirin. Quir- quir- <laughs> yeah, even the, the pixies, dwarves, and the rat people. Yeah. Rat people. How about rat this? They could have. I, I know they said, "Oh, it doesn't make sense if they go together." What if I don't know? What if the dwarves just hold a massive party in celebration of the end of the world being stopped, and then they all go together? Like the the pixies, the the Quitari and the dwarf, will will have a party, and then because of all the alcohol, things get messed up, and that that's what the quest is involved. Like you have got to solve some issues because everyone is drunk. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> Obviously, it didn't make sense for the Namazu to be involved with the Stormblood, but they made that happen. Yeah, they they there's always a way. <laughs> well, there's a will, there's like, a way. You can't be like there's st- no story reason. I'm sure that, that you can. You, as I said, I just made a story reason. The, the, the dwarves hold a massive rager, and everyone gets drunk. <laughs> it could have been about the Ronkin Emperor. That is true, Wobsy. Or, or the dwarves were the main main characters, which makes sense because I I'm a Lalafell and biased. Um. And, but anyway, Endwalker tribe quest. Yep, I will have to try and get there as quick as I want to say quick as I can. I'm going to take my time with it. I'll get there yeah. eventually, but I will be I will be doing it. Hildebrand, I got to do. Oh, actually, I've done all Hildebrand. I'm, I've literally been doing the yeah. weapons. Uh, <laughs> so we've got like new Hildebrand, new weapons, which is just going to be tone weapons. I'm hoping they look cool because right now the white mage weapon looks like a sex toy. So That's you it. know, I don't remember it really what it does. Like. Okay. It, it, fuck it. Look, I um, glamour mine with the weird, creepy turnip <laughs> face. So, and I've done mine with my fucking uh, rabbit. So with my uh, so yeah. Let's like honestly, if you if you if you want a cool weapon, all, all, all you gotta go do is go to the uh, the savage uh, variant dungeons and bang, you get a cool uh, get the tone weapon, just light up. I like how I looked up Endwalker White Mage Relic, and the f- one of the relic weapons in the image in Google is so you like the Final Fantasy Eleven relic weapons. <laughs> so the the Final Fantasy Eleven relics are here. Uh, a- Aegis, the Paladin Shield, which had the creepy face. Uh, creepy face. See, relic weapons at Eleven were important. Like unlike Fourteens, like see. In eleven, your your main attacks was your weapon skills, right? Um, as you build up your attacks, you then you as you build up your skills, you unlock weapon skills, and then you chain weapon skills together to to do skill chains. Paul, like I would do a weapon skill, you would do a weapon skill, and then if they they are combined, they would do a skill chain. Relic okay. weapons actually had their own weapon skills tied to them that you could only get from the relic weapon. So oh, that's so cool. So you would have to. Excalibur had its own relic. Spara had its own relic weapon skill and so forth. So, and then Bard, yeah. um, Bard. Uh, I can't remember. I don't question. I don't remember exactly. But Bard could only do two song buffs per. Like, you could have multiple bards that would do, but you could only have two yourself active, right? Okay. But. If you had the relic bard, it actually relic bard weapon, the Galahorn, uh, it actually added another song buff that you could put on the party. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. So, why don't we have that square like, relic? Yeah, make our relics, relics do cool were, things. Well, also a massive grind and expensive. 
Like, what? Yeah, Square Enix. Come on. <laughs> Everyone wants I, I, a long I would, grind. I would say a relic weapon in eleven, if you paid the fourteen prices, would probably be equivalent to about one hundred and fifty million gil. I would. I would say <laughs> that would crash the economy quite quick. Yeah. You know That's why? Because raiders it, would cry. Well, raiders can go fucking suck my yeah. left testicle. It'd yeah. be something that's fun and exciting. I, I'm i still hoping, I know that it won't happen, um, but I am still hoping that the final step of the relic weapon that we're getting for Endwalker, I am still hoping and still praying, and it's not going to happen, I understand that, uh, but I'm still hoping and still praying that the final step yeah, when uh-huh. it becomes the, you know, the, I've forgotten what eye level we are now. What, uh, what 660. So when it becomes the 665 weapon, because it will go to 665, like the, you know, the savage weapon. Yeah. Um, That it adds, because it's not much damage in stats between 660s to 665. Like, I hope that the 665 weapon adds, when you're in the gold saucer and you have it equipped, you get bonus MGP from events. That'd be cool. You know it's not going to happen, but it, it, it's a cool yeah. idea. It's a very cool yeah. idea. It it's can help one... you farm MGP. Yeah, yeah, even if it's only 5%, yeah. that's still like, oh, I get like a lot more MGP. Oh, I can grind my MGP grind now. Yeah, Because now that, yeah. obviously, the uh, the Fall Guys event's gone away, uh, there's a lot... There's, <laughs> it's hard to get MGP now. That's all I'm saying. So, And God oh, involved the with the relic. And yeah, he owns the gold on. saucer. Come so, on, Square. It has to be law. Law accurate. Canon. Yeah. It has to be. And, you know, by having you have this MGP increased relic, like, you know, it's business, extra business for him. Like, he's done with the relic. He can't upgrade it anymore. But now that you've got this relic that has increased MGP, you're going to go gamble in his gold saucer. <laughs> Yeah, but he's got more business. I, I, well, obviously, I know, I know, like probably like just doing, say, Chocobo racing. You get a shit ton of MGP from doing yeah. Chocobo racing. So yeah, I, yeah. I know I would go do Chocobo racing, but you still five percent on that and doing your dailies. Yeah, just saying, I'll take that. I would, I would take that because I really do want to try and get the uh, what is it? The was it four mil MGP mount? I'm close, but. I'm like oh, I'm a three million there. nearly, but the issue is, <laughs> I don't want to buy it because in case there's something else comes out that I want, because I don't like it. Yeah. I, I like it, but not enough for me to be like, oh, jeez. I haven't no. actually seen it properly. I need to, I need to look it up again. Whether four like... <laughs> mil MGP mount. No. Give me an image. I could just watch Miyoni's video. That is true. Yeah, but... Go check out Miyoni's YouTube chat. video. Uh, okay. It looks kind of cool. It does look cool. Is it worth four mil? I don't know. I personally don't think it is. But if you like what it, you other like mounts? It. <laughs> What's other mounts with MGP? Eh. I may grab it just to say, say fuck it. I have it. Eh. I don't know. Cool. But yeah, new relic weapon next week. Yeah, next Tuesday. Hopefully after, they look good. After the twenty-four hour maintenance as well. Yeah, 24 hour maintenance because the Japanese data centers need a a, a tune up. <laughs> yeah. So go play Final Fantasy 16 if you have a PS5, uh, or go play another game for a bit. Or spend $300 and play Apex Legends. <laughs> Fucking excuse me? <laughs> I think it was. No, I think they've, they've actually changed the price now, but. Like I was gonna, I was hoping to do a collab with Robbie Landis. Go check out Robbie Landis because he plays a lot of Apex Legends. And I don't know about if you knew this, but Final Fantasy VII collab it came to Apex Legends. Yeah, I keep seeing it on Steam. But to get everything in 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 it, you, you had to grind a hell of a lot or spend three hundred and twenty dollars to get all of the outfits. Okay. It's now only two hundred. <sighs> so um, there's that. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> it's now only two hundred. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I see. Okay. Oh, that is that is a lot of money. Ah, oh, Koopo power, flower girl. You don't need both your kidneys. <laughs> that is true. Hacker first class. 
I do like the fact that I will spoil this. The uh, Hild- the Hildebrand relic quest line is a um, My Hero Academia reference. Is it? Let's go. Because the trophy is plus ultra. <gasps> yes, plus ultra. Uh, and yeah, obtain uh, the weapon um, Mandevilius. So there you go. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fun. I can't wait. Oh yeah, Dragon Ball Gacha games. I will sell my kidney for for a cool unit, but not for <laughs> not for Apex Legends. When the if but the, Apex the, Legends, I'm only gonna play because it's. Well, and the skins related. look horrible anyway. Like, they, look at look at Aerith. It feels like they've got a. a um, it's it's like a melted a dull version of Aerith. It's, it's horrible. It's scary. It gives people nightmares. <laughs> have you seen it? Look it up. It's I have, scary. I see it here. I see it here. Yeah, it doesn't look very. <laughs> uh, I like I like Koopa Power. Koopa Power is the best one. Yeah, by one hundred percent. Koopa Power is maybe Material Girl, maybe, but Koopa Power is the best one. Yeah. <laughs> but would I spend that much money for it? No, because I don't play Apex that much. Uh, <laughs> it's just not worth it. People complain about the Riot for Whirl- it being the main Riot for Dawn Trail because it makes it surprise we're a war criminal. It doesn't really, does it? Like, he knows what he did was bad and he walks away knowing that what he did was bad. And you know what he was did was bad. And he got punished for what he did. It's not like he was like, okay, now none of it ever happened. What? 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 what, what? Uh, the, the fact that the you know, the one who did the um, weapon series, uh, the Whirlet, with the, you know, that's that storyline. Yeah. He is the main writer for Dawn Trail. Okay. And everyone's complaining that, like, because he he did that, that he won't be able to do Dawn Trail properly for some reason. Yeah, he, he did a lot of Helm's Ward. Just because he made one story like that doesn't mean he can. He has to make all stories like that. Spoilers: writers do multiple different storylines. Um, they're not always doing the same story. Why are people upset about it? They were good. Yeah, the writer likes to put in darker stories, which is good. I don't know. I, I like dark know. stories. I, give me a. Give me a light hide story this time. We've had enough dark. Yeah, like, that one. Dark. We just had Shadowbringers <laughs> and Endwalker. Like, and I'm gonna Dude, guess they were Solution wholesome. Nine they is gonna dark. be. My guess is Solution Nine is gonna end up being dark and creepy. Um. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna guess that that's gonna be, like, like, someone translated one of the signs that's in the pictures, and it said something like Soul Reserve. So, oh my god, it is that you like Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> and considering all the references to Fantasy 9, I feel like it's definitely going to be <laughs> ter- the ter- like we're going to it's going to be that world from the other world from 9 where the weird creepy eye comes from. Like I wouldn't be shocked if Necron isn't there. Like I, Necron is probably going to be one of the final bosses of Dawn Trail. And it'll be just like nine, where he just appears for no reason. Like, if I'm rightly like, it's because they wanted Hades to be the final boss, but they couldn't work out how to make Hades the final boss, so they just made Hades a sub boss, and then made Necron, and then just, he just appears. Why? Eh? Hmm. Necron is here now. Necron is here. Yeah. Have no fear, because Necron is here. No, he Sorry. no. That's the opposite of what you want to do with Necron. He is the op- <laughs> he, he is literally stasis and death. Oh yeah, that's what I know. <laughs> yeah, Hades was a nice side boss who was totally. Yep, it was such a hidden boss, such a hidden boss that you just went around the corner to find. So hidden, hidden. Um, but I think I think that wraps everything up. I think. Yeah. Was there anything else? Um, if there is, we'll cover it in a future episode. Yeah, because we'll, which we'll is in have two weeks. those. Yeah, where in well, two weeks we, we'll, we'll probably be talking about the patch. <laughs> well, yeah, a, a little week. bit. We won't probably talk just be about us talking about how shit the relic weapon was. Probably. Yeah, probably. Spoilers. That's probably and which, what's going to happen. And which, and whichever guest we have with us, probably also talk about how shit the relic weapon was. Yeah, uh, we might know some stuff about the Xbox um, data 
because that's coming yeah, out in yeah, February as well. True. Um, that is true. That is true. Oh yeah, Frog Drop was overpowered. I forgot how how overpowered Frog Drop was in in nine. Bring back Frog Drop. <laughs> Drop. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna double check, but if I'm brightly, yeah, n- you could do the cap in damage for ten mana. Uh, but it, it it wasn't like you could just do it. Basically, you you had. Uh, I can never say his name wrong. All right, so I'm sorry if I said his name wrong. Qu- Quina Quina is a is a he's a chef blue mage, and he he gains blue mage. He gains spells by eating things, and you, <laughs> his weapon oh, is a is a is a fork. So, um, but in his home, there's like frogs everywhere. And what you got to do is you got to run around and eat the frogs. And the more frogs you eat, based on your level and the frogs, each frog does one damage. So then you can, if you eat 9,999 frogs, you, you can do the cap. So, yeah. That's very creative, but also very OP. Yeah. It was very overpowered, <laughs> but it also um, meant that you know, um, he, do, he, 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 and he's day them. By the way, he they, uh, they are day uh, them. Day them. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, we... you, you need to catch nine hundred ish, and yeah, but you also remember if you catch the golden frogs, I think it was they give you more as well. Like if you Is had to go catch frog? the golden frogs, yeah, eat the it wasn't golden frogs that you had to eat that increased it more. And they would like you, they would run away if you don't get to them in time. But no, he had he had some cool abilities like auto reflect, auto haste, auto life. Um, auto haste, auto reflect. Yeah. Jesus. True. And if you did a circuit by the time you were done on the on, in one place, yeah, you had to reset. It. You couldn't just stay there. Yeah. Mm. Oh. oh, and also by the way, he had his he had a he had a I am oh, yeah, looking at his stuff online right now. Um. He had eat, which was his normal ability. Which, if you ate an enemy and they had an ability, you would learn it. But his limit break when he was low on health, he he get he went into trance and eat would be replaced by cook, and then he would he would just make a giant pan appear around the enemy and cook them and eat them. That's that was his limit break was to cook. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah, Five C Nine was great. <laughs> uh. Well, when's that going to remake? I ho- I really hope one day it was probably one of my favorite. Yeah, because I think I think I think this year. Ugh, sorry, I'm like. Uh, so this year, uh, I got games lined up for what I want to play and like play playthroughs yeah. on MGR. Which the first one is going to be Final Fantasy 15 because I wanted to play that again, and I I have the Windows edition, which I think has full DLC. Or I need to get the Arden one, so I'd probably get that as a later date, probably. Oh, no, 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 it is in my library. Never mind, it is in my library. Nice. I do have the episodes, so that's cool. So I, I can have fun with that, which, yay. Um, and then I need to... Sc- which one was it? No, not that one. Uh, so I'm trying to find, trying to find the, my Final Fantasy game. Uh, here it is. I think it's 10 and 10 2. Wait, what can I do for you? What can I the, do for uh, you? The the I think uh, yeah the HD remastered ones I've got. So I'm going to also give them a go this year. Ten two is probably one of the best Final Fantasy games in my opinion. Story wise, okay. not good. What about ten? <laughs> Everyone loves ten for some reason. Okay. Everyone loves ten. I'm not a huge fan of ten. I I don't know why. Mainly because I don't like Tidus, and I don't like Waka. And I don't like how it ends. But Yuna's good. <laughs> and Lulu is good. And re- basically all the, the all the, the female characters are good. And Kamari. Kamari is cool. Uh, Auron is cool. It's just, just Wacker. I hate Wacker. Wacker. Wacker, Wacker, Wacker. Like, spoilers, but like, he is so insensitive in that game. Like, um, like uh, spoilers, someone, I'm not going to say whose, but someone's town is being blown up, right? Oh no! Right, and yeah. Wacker's response to the seeing everyone being murdered is, "Yeah, man, it's it's like Happy Festival fireworks." <laughs> <laughs> While the person that's the city's being blown up is next to them. 
All right, then. They stood next to him <laughs> while they're watching all their families get murdered. And he turns around and says, I, it's like happy festival fireworks. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, that's funny. Sorry. <laughs> uh. um, but yeah, th- those are my Final Fantasy games I'm going to be playing. Uh, and if I get through them, I may, yeah. I may grab another one if I get through them. But by then, we'll also be having Dawn Trail drop. So, you know, <laughs> so we're having Dawn Trail drop in summer. So, depending on how far I'll get through them, I don't know. I may start next month, or I may start the month after that, because I want to get like, a lot of Final Fantasy stuff done before Dawn Trail kind of drops, and then, and then we'll start like playing just normal games until that comes out. I say normal games for Final Fantasy based games. Okay, Final Fantasy fifteen, Final Fantasy ten, and ten two. So, and then maybe, just maybe. I'll treat you all to a good Final Fantasy 13. I mean, one day I'll play that again. <laughs> so, keep going up, so I, I, I keep getting I, I, a I message just... saying that your 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 copy of 13, it, your your thing is on sale. <laughs> Do you want to buy it? <laughs> so, oh no, really? You shouldn't. <laughs> oh, no, if, anyone, you know what, if anyone unfollows. Ha- if anyone wants to, me to play Final Fantasy 13 on stream, like you, you can buy me a copy on Steam when it's on sale, and I will play it <laughs> at some point. That, it's that a threat or a promise? Take it whatever way you want. <laughs> it's a threat or a promise. Uh, to be fair, I did say, I don't know if I wanted it for my personal channel or for this channel, to get up to a certain amount of followers and go play the Gollum game. But I don't know if people want to hate me or would want to follow after that. So, thank you, thank you, uh, BRB. I like you. 13. 13, okay, 13 and 13 too were pre- like, yeah. Lightning Returns! Do have an X- I do not have an Xbox controller for PC, but I do have a PlayStation <laughs> controller that I can use software to trick the PC to think it's an Xbox controller. So. You're naughty, naughty. You're tricking, you're tricking them now. Yeah, so... Um, so, Paul, I, I guess we should Hello. wrap up this podcast because it's nearly two hours. It is almost two hours. It's almost one o'clock and it's ready for me to go to bed because uh, I've been prodded by Dr. Sleep. But, yes. You need... Well, uh, good thing I play with controller, Wobsy. <laughs> I'm for the... Look, I'm waiting for the lewd talk. What do you mean, lewd talk? No, what the fuck are you talking about, lewd talk? We are wholesome, godlike men. We are, we are a Christian channel. How, how dare you? So, Paul, shouts, and how can I find you? Okay, so you can find me over on X, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Twitter, X, X Twitter, no clue. Uh, you can find me over there uh, at Paul Metal one so Yes, you can find me there. Uh, I'm now kind of like streaming full-time on this channel and on my personal channel, so technically it's kind of streaming all the time. So you can also find me there, Paul Bun. If you want to watch... Not Final Fantasy related content. And then obviously I'll move around on the weekends where I play everything Final Fantasy. So yeah. <laughs> Chilly work. Oh, and shout outs. Uh, shout out to Mioni for having me on Playing Little Company today. Shout out to Wobsy for the raid. Shout out to all you lovely people who have come to the stream today. And all to all of our lovely followers, listeners out there. And sad that our guests couldn't make it today. So I don't I know do who we have on guests. Still, so hopefully. We do have another guest put cool. for the next one, but I want to make sure everything's confirmed beforehand. Before we yeah. say anything. Yeah, and thank you for wearing clothes today and being you. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, that's but no, Thank you all for joining us. I've, been, I've had a lot of fun today. I'm looking forward to playing some Grand Blue Fantasy, which you'll see tomorrow with the demo. Woo. And then, of course, on I'm going to probably steal a weekend from Paul, maybe, um, when it launches. By all means. I think it launches on. Oh no, it might. No, it might launch on Monday actually. So I'll probably. I can't. Remember, it, it's probably even going to be a Monday. Monday probably. That I'm going to be taken from Paul. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> um, because of early access, so um, I'm excited. Um, expect a load of Grand Blue Fantasy stuff. Um, of course, we're going to do the patch next week. Um, so it's just a heads up, spoilers. Spoilers for the patch. So it is a Monday, by the way. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> I, I will be taking the Monday from Paul probably. 
Um, By all means, take away. And then, of course, Fantasy Seven at the end of February, which I'm excited for. So make sure you tune in for all of our content. And, of course, we've got the podcast every two weeks still. Uh, so uh, you can find me, I'm just let's go on Chile on Twitter or X or whatever you call it. And we can find us at Moogle Go Round on Blue Sky and on Twitter. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. See you all in two weeks. Woo! For, for bir- birthday hype. Birthday hype, Chili birthday hype. Yeah. Yay. Uh, I'm 37, <laughs> Paul. I'm 37. Hey, I'm getting old. bad. I'm, I'm getting old. <laughs> hey, man, I'm, 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 I'm getting there at some point. At some point, eventually, <laughs> in what? 16 years. I'll be 36 old man years. Oh. I always uh, sorry because I, I, I turned 29 this year. Okay. So seven so, years, eight I'm years until you're 37. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm close to the big 3 0, which will be next year. So. Yeah, next year. <laughs> anyway, see you all in two weeks. Bye. Bye bye. Enjoy the patch.